the uh, parking spot. See what we run into up here, we're hunting on the property that we've been on the last couple, I've been hunting the last couple mornings, and um, we've got a plan of where to go, and the property owner says nobody else is hunting here. But there's a vehicle parked that we're not sure who it is. So we'll find out, I guess, when we get up here. So we'll see you guys up top the hill. It sounds. It sounds like they're a lot further off than they were. Thursday and Tuesday mornings when I was here. <clears throat> well, so far we've heard about two or three different birds, but they're all farther away and sounding across the creek. There's fields over there. The last two times we hunted, 
they've been on this side, just down over this hill. But it seems as though when they fly down, they go down away. This morning, they just decided to loose there last night, so I guess they don't gotta go as far. compared to the other morning. Yep. fields are turned yet. <laughs> it's like it's green at the top. Dirt on the bottom? No, it just goes green, dirt, green, dirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how long you want to sit here. I'm ready for a coffee now. Yeah, me too. Here, man, it's your call. They, they're over there. Nothing gobbled here. No, they're on that side. Because you said you heard two jakes in the long beard for sure. Yep. That's and that's them. I say we pull out of here and figure out a plan B. <coughs> no sense wasting our time. Allergy medication. Yeah. Do it. All right. Don't waste any more time. Plan B. All right, guys. Well, this is probably. See, here's feathers. Oh, yeah. It's probably like plan, I don't know. 24B? Yeah, something like that. So, we're, uh, we're at the scene of the crime where this. We heard about this guy that missed one. David saw it on a video. So, he said he looked familiar. Oh, I just missed the goblin. <laughs> now we're up. We're up on public land now. We're taking a walk up to the area where I, I had that one come in quiet that one morning, about a week or so ago. About a week? Yeah. And, uh, I missed so and thankfully there's nobody here so we're gonna get up this hill see if we can't find a bird Sneak down. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna sneak down along 
on that patch of pines right there. And there's a there's a path that cuts through and goes into that big field that I was set up in where that collar came out into. The wind will help mask any, any noise. And we got some soft dirt here, so hopefully we can get there and kind of see if anything's out there strutting and maybe make a play on it. the road and go up or, or do you want to walk through the woods well, I don't, I don't, if there's nothing out there we could probably walk along the edge right? i would say let's probably just get out and walk along the edge it'd mm -hmm. be easier for us well we're heading back to the truck we got to a point where the calls can carry all the way up to the power line. Called for a little bit, nothing. So, we're taking a walk back. And uh, we're gonna call a friend of ours that we know, see if they've seen, there's this one bird in property that we're allowed to hunt too. See if they've seen them. And if they did, if we could park uh, near their house and sneak up in and maybe get a shot at that bird. But it's been tough. It's breezy, windy, beautiful day. Just uh, <coughs> birds aren't cooperating. So Dave is looking for mushrooms right now, which that's not a bad thing. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we'll see you at the next spot. All right, guys, so here's the deal. We uh, spotted a long beard in a plowed field up here. And uh, we went on Onyx. We found who the property owner is. We actually knew who it was, but we needed to figure out whose house, where their house was. So we went, spoke to the lady that owns the property and she gave us permission to park where we're at and we're sneaking up through the woods here we're gonna see if we can get on him he's by himself and uh he's just out in the field feeding so we're gonna get up there and see if we can make this work we got a little less than two hours so david dear dear just ran up. Oh. All right, we're gonna go. All right, guys, we're set up almost. That bird was out in the cut in a plowed field, probably about 250 yards straight out in front of us right now. We're just inside the woods line, as you can see, probably about. 15 yards from the field. And we, David's gonna face this way in case he comes down the tree line. I'm gonna face this way in case he comes through the woods. 
hopefully he comes one of the two ways and we can we can knock him down. There's a lot of brush right there. And we we can and if we wanted to we could go up here. It looks like relatively quick. Stay stay low. up the woods here and um, this bird just is not gobbling and we aren't a hundred percent sure where he's at right now so I think what we're gonna do is back out you know what David I can see the field let me glass it huh? hold this I can see the field right from here grab David's seat and our decoys and we're just gonna sneak out of here and let him go because we don't know where he's at and we might be able to get in here uh, another morning and maybe kill him right off the roost so he's got no hens and every time people we that David or our buddy Daryl seen him he's by himself so 
we're gonna get going.